Hi everyone, my name is Antoni Canjano and I'm a software developer and AI evangelist at IBM. I'm also the author of Technical Blogging, a book published by the Pragmatic Bookshelf. I wrote the first edition of the book in 2012, and that's a long time ago, at least uh, as far as the internet is concerned. Seven plus years means a lot has changed over time. The internet has become much more focused on social media, and also search engine optimization has changed quite a bit over the years. So my goal with this new edition, the second edition of the book, is to incorporate all these changes as well as all the things that I've learned over the course of these uh, seven plus years uh, since the first edition. I'm also the marketing lead for ConnectedClass.ai, which is a, a website uh, for learners of data science and AI. And uh, my team and I actually built it without any budget from scratch to over a million uh, learners. So within the book, I incorporate some of the lessons that I learned uh, while running some of those larger campaigns for that site as well. You might wonder why should we bother with blogging in 2019, 2020, or whenever you're watching this video. Some people might say blogging is dead. I think it's far from dead. Sure, it's not the hot new thing that it was a few years ago, but that's a good thing. It means that it's much easier to stand out with long content. Now, social media is still very important. In fact, I have a, a full chapter dedicated to the topic, and I also have coverage of the topic throughout the book. Within the book, I provide you a step-by-step -step strategy on how to maximize your social media efforts so that they really complement the blogging efforts you're doing already. So why should you buy my book? I wrote it for people who are interested in amplifying their influence online by sharing what they know, sharing their knowledge online. It's simply sharing what you already know, whether you're a student or you're an expert in your field. So this book is sort of aimed at programmers or other technical people, but it's accessible enough that uh, even though the examples are specific to programmers, anyone who has an interest in sharing their knowledge online will be able to benefit from it, regardless of the subject matter that you are an expert or interested in. My book will provide you with a step-by-step -step plan on how to become a successful blogger. And once you become a successful blogger, you'll see that a whole host of new opportunities will present in front of you. You'll be able to advance your career if that's what you're after, or you'll be able to earn some extra income if that's one of your goals. The book will also teach you how to promote products, whether they are pet projects, open source projects, or perhaps something bigger as part of a startup. Within the book, I will teach you everything you need to know about blogging, from content, headlines, keywords, SEO, social media, newsletter management, you name it. All you have to do is buy the book, read it, and then apply the knowledge within, and I guarantee you, you will be successful as a blogger, no matter who you are. A lot of the people who read the first edition of my book were programmers, so I expect a lot of programmers to read the second edition as well. And I know programmers are a little hesitant to uh, do self-promotion or uh, deal with anything related to marketing. And blogging is certainly a form of marketing. It's content marketing, it's technical marketing. You're not a charlatan just because you're trying to promote yourself online through blogging. On the contrary, you're putting your knowledge out there, helping other people. Sure, you'll gain benefits from it, that's part of the point, but other people will also benefit from your knowledge. You can think of it as two extremes. There is the do all the work and zero promotion, or the do all promotion and zero work. And you don't want to be at either of these extremes. You want to be somewhere in the middle, where you do good work and people know that you do good work. That will allow you to maximize benefits regardless of what your goals are for blogging. So I would encourage you to blog whether you're starting a new blog or resuming an existing one that perhaps was abandoned a while ago. If you have any questions prior to buying the book or afterwards, feel free to get in touch. My email address is info at technicalblogging.com. I believe in you and I look forward to seeing you succeed.